So we need to learn the ligaments of the knee joint. There's six ligaments in total that we need to understand. There's four extracapsular ligaments and two intracapsular ligaments. So uh, before we get to those, let's talk about the three bones that we have in front of us here. So the top bone here we've got is the femur. The smaller one in the lower leg is the fibula and the bigger one in the lower leg is the tibia. So we'll start with the four extracapsular ligaments. Uh, the one here on the fibula side happens to be called the fibula collateral ligament. And all that's saying is it's fibula collateral, so fibula side ligament. On the other side we've got the tibia collateral ligament, or tibia side ligament. Now those uh, actual ligaments are uh, used uh, synonymously with medial and lateral collateral ligaments. So the tibia, which is on the medial side of the body, the tibial collateral ligament is also called the medial collateral ligament. The fibula collateral ligament is also called the lateral collateral, collateral ligament. Now we've got two extra capsule ligaments on the back. Now they're not actually on the model, but it's important to know where they are. One is called the oblique popliteal ligament. And that's a ligament that runs across the back of the joint capsule. So it's not here, but it would run exactly where my fingers are. Oblique popliteal ligament. And finally we've got the accruate popliteal ligament. It's a ligament that runs from the head of the fibula into that joint capsule. So it would run straight up where my finger is. So oblique popliteal ligament and accruate popliteal ligament. Something like that. Then we go to the two intracapsular ligaments. So if we open up and look inside the knee here, we've got a ligament which is coming forward. That's called the anterior cruciate ligament. So it's starting at the back and it's moving forward. On the back we've got a ligament which is called the posterior cruciate ligament. So it's starting at the back and it stays at the back. So the difference between the anterior and the posterior ligament is not where the origin is because they both originate around the same place. The posterior stays at the posterior and the anterior cruciate ligament comes forward. Now the roles of these ligaments are the anterior cruciate ligament prevents forward displacement of the tibia on the femur. So what that looks like is, if the bottom hand represents the tibia, the anterior cruciate ligament would prevent forward displacement, so the tibia coming forward off the femur. And the posterior cruciate ligament would prevent rearward or posterior displacement of the tibia on the femur, so the posterior cruciate ligament would prevent rearward displacement of the tibia on the femur.